Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa problem solving on conversion of measurements. So, since sa pag-aralan na natin how to convert measurements, ngayon we'll deal with problems solving, which is your learning task number 2, letter C, dyan sa mga module nyo. So, mga anak ko, ha, iniba natin yung mga given dito para kayo pa rin ang mag-solve ng inyong mga module. So, i-guide ko lang ba kayo sa tamang procedure kung paano nyo ba gagawin yung pag-solve ng problem para alam ninyo kung paano kayo magsisimula. Okay? Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na, na rin ang notification bell. O, na-hit na ba ha? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 2, letter C, solve the following. Number 1, Maria has 40 meters of ribbon. How many 15 centimeter of ribbon can be cut from it? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, may dalawa tayong given dito, pero magkaiba sila ng measurements. Isang in, ah, magkaiba talaga sila ng measurements. Ang tinutukoy ko yung unit of measurement. Yung isa ay naka-meters at yung isa ay naka-centimeters. Since we will cut that 40 meters by centimeter, kailangan ma-convert natin yung 40 meters into centimeters saka natin siya i-divide. So, paano natin i-convert? Ang hinahanap kasi natin is 40 meters is what in centimeters. O, diba? Tinaruan ko na kayo kung paano mag-convert. Dapat alam ninyo yung conversion factor ng inyong mga unit of measurements. Enter ko lang to ha. So, ano ba yung conversion factor na gagamitin natin? So, sa isang metro, in 1 meter, ilang centimeters ba meron? We have 100 centimeters. Then, we use this conversion factor. Sige, 40 meters times... Okay, anong unit of measure yung nasa baba para ma-cancel? Correct, meters. So, since we have 1 meter dito, ang nasa taas natin ay yung centimeters, which is 100. So, ang sinusulat lang natin yung conversion factor, pero dapat tama yung position nila. Ha? Kung ano yung unit of measure na given, dapat yun yung nasa denominator ng ating factor. Okay? So, we will cancel... Sorry, we will cancel... Meter and then meter. Bulol is real. Okay. So, we have now 40 times 100 and that is 4,000. Diba? Since centimeters na lang yun nandito, centimeter na lang dyan. And since 1 lang naman to, 4,000 divided by 1 is still 4,000. So, meron tayong 4,000 centimeters. Now, sa 4,000 centimeters, ilan bang 15 centimeters ang meron dyan? Para malaman natin kung uh, ilang uh, cut ng 15 centimeters ang meron. So, we divide 4,000 by 15. So, we have here 2, we have 30, so we have 100. So, 100, ilan? 90 kasi, di ba? 2, 4, 2, 4, 6. So, 6. Kasi, that will be 90. Okay, 100 uh -huh, minus 90, that's also 100. Okay, 100 divided by 15, that's also 6. And then, 6 times 15 is 100. Dahil magde-decimal point na tayo, ibig sabihin nun, hindi na... Ah, ano ba ginawa ko dito? 6 times 15, sorry. <laughs> Wait lang mga anak, ka, na-excite lang si Teacher Maria. So, 6 times 15 is still 90. Ang gusto kong sabihin na magwa 100 ulit dito kasi 10, diba? Tapos mag-a-add ka ng decimal point dito, dito. So, 0, 100 ulit. Pero mga anak ko, ibig sabihin nun, kulang na yung natitira para makabuo ng isang 15. Since ang tanong naman natin dito ay how many 15 centimeter 
uh, ribbon. Ibig sabihin, ilang ribbons na ang sukat na 15 centimeter ang kaya sa 40 meters. Then, uh, mag-stop na tayo dito. So, dapat whole number yung sagot natin. Hindi na natin isasama yung decimal kasi hindi naman na siya 15 centimeters yung measure na. So, therefore, there are 15 centimeter ah, no. <laughs> there are 266 uh, there are 200, 266 ribbons that can be cut that can be cut from Okay, so there are 266 ribbons that can be cut from it. Okay, or there are 266 15 centimeter ribbons that can be cut from it. Okay, for number 2, Mr. JP has a rectangular lot that measures 650 meters by 0 0.75 kilometers. What is the area of the land in square meter? And then, he is selling the whole lot for 206 million and 250,000. Or 206 million, 250,000 pesos. How much is the price per square meter? So, dapat malaman muna natin yung area and then saka natin malalaman yung price per square meter. Pero may problem tayo, di ba? Ito in meters, ito ay in kilometer. Pero dahil ang hinahanap sa atin ay uh, price per square meter, yung kilometers, kailangan natin i-convert by meters. So, you will have your 0 0.75 is equal to how many? Okay, M to ha? Meters. Okay? Siyempre, kailangan ulit natin ng conversion factor. In 1 kilometers, how many? Or in 1 kilometer, how many meters? There are 1,000. Tama? And then we use that. So, we have 0 0.75 km times, ano yung nasa denominator natin? Yung km. Correct. So, 1 km and then 1,000 meter. We cancel this one and then we have this. Dahil may tatlong zero na to, shortcut na lang mga anak ko, imumove mo yung decimal point ng tatlong beses. So, 0 0.75, move ka ng isa, dalawa, tatlo. Mag-add ka ng zero dito. So, you will have 750, ha? So, we have here 750 meters. So, merong 750 meters sa 0 0.75 kilometers. Okay, and then we compute the area. O, ano yung area natin? We just simply multiply the length and the width. So, we have 650 times 750 o, meters and then meters. So, meters yan na. Para hindi na matagal mag-compute, eto na, i-compute na natin dito ha. Gamit na ako ng calculator. So, we have 650 times 750. So, we have there 487,000. Ilan yun? 487,500. Okay, 500. Ito yung sagot nyo sa what is the area of the land. Okay, ha? The area, therefore, the area is 487,500 meters square. Okay, pero hindi pa natatapos yan kasi how much is the price per square meter pa yung question. So, kung meron kang 206,250,000, kung gusto mo malaman yung presyo per square meter, i-divide mo. So, we have 487 and then 1,500. O, i-divide natin ha para malaman natin magkano. So, we have 206,250,000. 1,000, tatlong zero, di ba? Divided by 487, 1,500, okay? So, you will have 423.07. I-round off na lang natin siya to the nearest whole number, okay? So, you will have there, tama ba yung nilagay ko dito? 20625. Okay, and then 487. Okay, so you will have 423 pesos per square meter. So that is 400 pesos. Ito. 
400, how many? 23 pesos per square meter. Yung ating magiging presyo. Okay? Now, for number 3, drinking 8 glasses of water a day is good for your health. If each glass of water is equivalent to 148 ml. How many liters of water you need to consume every day? Okay? Since ml to, ikaw convert natin siya into liters. So, let's convert. Uh, how many? Oh, so, if you have here 148 ml, how many liters are there? So, kailangan natin ng conversion factor. In 1 liter, there are 1,000 ml. O, convert natin to 148 ml times, ano yung nasa baba? Yung ml natin, which is 1,000. And then, 1 liter. So, 148 times 1 is 148 liters. And then, divided by 1,000. Eto, cancel na ha. Dahil division to, naaalala yung technique ko, kapag puro zero lang naman, you can just move the decimal point. Since tatlo to, usog ka lang ng isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, there are 0 0.148 uh, ha, liters here in 148 ml. So, 0 0.1 or 0 0.148 liters. Okay, and then saka natin siya i-multiply by 8 kasi 8 glasses nga siya. So, having that, you will have here 0 0.148 times 8. Para hindi na mahaba, i-calculator na ni Teacher Maria ha, para hindi sayang sa time. So, we have 0 0.148 times 8. So, that is 1.184 liters. So, you have here 1.184 liters. Okay? So, we have, therefore, there are... Okay, na lang umintindi ng sulat ni Teacher Maria. There are 1.184 liters of water that you need to consume every day if you want to complete it. Ha? So, there are 1.184 liters of water that you need to consume every day. Okay, now for number 4, your babysitter has sister has a body temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. What is her body temperature in degree Celsius? Does he have a normal body temperature? So, obviously, we have to convert this degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. And alam nyo naman na yung formula, di ba? We have degree Celsius is equal to 0 0.56 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Since we have here 120, you will have here 0 0.56 times 120 degrees minus 32. Okay, what is 120 minus 32? That's 88, correct. So, 0 0.56 times 88 is how many? Oh, calculator na natin, ha? So, we have 0 0.56 times 88. We have 49.28. Okay, 49.28 degrees Celsius. Normal ba to? Hindi, sobrang init na. Pero wala naman sigurong ganito kainit na katawan ha. Kasi binago ko yung given kaya siguro medyo uh, tumaas ito ha. Pero ang normal body temperature natin ay 37. Okay? So, pag lumagpas ka ng 37, yung 36 pa nga normal pa din eh. Pag sa mga bata... 37, pag sa mga uh, medyo matanda na 36 deg degrees Celsius yung normal. So, eto, pag tumas na doon, hindi na siya normal. May sakit na siya, okay? Ngayon, dahil medyo mahaba na ang video na ito, mga anak ko, ikat ko muna. Ah, pero, isusunod ko naman din yung second part nito para lang hindi na masyadong mahirap mag-edit dahil medyo 15 minutes na itong video natin. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section. Mga anak ko, alam nyo naman na ang mga comments ninyo ay mahalaga para maapang video na ito at makita rin naman siya ng iba. Kaya, sana sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iiwan mag kayo ng comment ha. Thank Thank you, smiley, or kahit uh, 
Bye, ma'am. Or basta simple message ay mahalaga para sa videos natin. Kaya huwag a- kayong aalis nang hindi kayo nagko-comment, ha? And please share this to your classmates. And pa-follow naman ang ating Facebook page, Love Math TV. Mga anak ko, ha? Pahatak din ng inyong mga classmates dito sa ating YouTube channel para may guide sila. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!